right so we finally got these in it is two collector booster packs we are going to open this and as always time for a cuck with the buck to test his luck get the handy pick sticker get the split and see what we pull that'd be nice nice well, i'm really excited with this set this has been really good there's been a lot of good cards in it um no disappointment whatsoever on the stuff i've opened Mainly just trying to get the really, really good cards is the biggest thing. But, yeah, nevertheless, I'm excited for this. I'm going to go ahead and take out one pack of each um, for my thing I'm doing later. So these two are getting put aside. I mean, nearly a full, um, like, deck builder's toolkit full for us to open up at some point. So that's going to be fun. excited for that because there is uh, I think about two of every single pack that I've done um, and some that I haven't done just sitting in there waiting to be opened so it could be some some fun stuff okay without further ado let's just let's get to opening up the pack and see what kind of cool stuff we pull okay land nice little pig sigh okay now we'll get to the these things. I'll just kind of pop this up a little higher so people can see it. I'm so excited. I love these lands. They're just so nice. All right, we got a full art um, Baron. Pretty cool. We got a Sanctum of All. Okay, nice. It's one of the shrines, the legendary shrines. The, I, don't, I don't know if it's the only variant of that. I'm not sure. Could, could be wrong. Um, but I think it's the only one that's a rare so there, there, there's that to be said okay okay got this nice little art of Garrick's Uprising that's cute and these ones are like I have a lot of them that I just put in binders like special binder things Ooh, I like that that's pretty I have a special binder for arts like this I may do that but I still haven't decided yet I don't think I'm going to I might they're just not like as cool as the other ones that I did now that's that's awesome I got a uh Got a nice um, full art planeswalker. I'm gonna set this up to here and put the token onto the side. That, that planeswalker is just just look at that thing. It's so nice. It's like really really clean. Like oh, that's just so cool. It's really nice art. Token. Uh oh, got this upside down. I'm so happy I'm getting these. Okay, we got a full art um, Bane Slayer Angel. That's pretty epic. I like that. I'm put this with the other full art that I got. Um, got a full art Speaker of the Heavens. Got a full art Baron. That's that's kind of cool. That's that's a lot of full arts in that one. Do I have any full arts in this? Nope. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is going to the Garbo pile. Okay, and we got a. Garrick, sweet, sweet. Put this right here, and then we got this, and we got the Teferi's Tutelage. Okay, that right, Garrick's pretty epic. Looks very nice. Get that token out the way. Yep, I hate these lands. I really wish I would have never printed them. It's just it, ultimately, in, in my opinion, and it's just in my opinion alone. I just I think they're worthless lands. Uh, I just love these. These arts are just if you can look at how nice and clean they are. Full art temple of malady. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. I'll probably go in a binder, put all this full arts in a pile. Uh, Nombi. Um, it's kind of cool. I like that. Um, got a scavenging ooze. Got a one of those weird arts of the um, pyreling. Okay. Got Bastry's Lieutenant. Okay. Got a foil of Chandra's Magmut. 
and I got a foil of Liliana Standard Bear. I actually just put one of those in my Yawgmoth deck. Um, I think I might swap this one out because it's really nice. Um, so I'll probably do that. That's that's pretty cool. Um, just a really good card because you know, in, in a lot of decks, you're just you're going to be doing a lot of sacking, and you're it's just, it's just it's you'd be a fool not to go ahead and pop that in there as you know, just a quick way to get some draw. Nice, we got a full art peer into the abyss. Oh, my mother of milk. Oh, that's that's some sexy uh, Ugin action. Got a foil, one of those. I got, um, if you've seen my other video, I got, uh, um, I think I said I got a regular one of these. I don't know if I pulled it in the pack or if I just got it opening a box. I think I did get it in my pool, but that's, that's, um, that's mint. Symbol of Triumph. Which, again, I'm not a fan of the temples. <clears throat> I'm going to put this over here. Got a doggy. Got a steward. Got a full art containment priest. So that's pretty nice. That's nice. And there we go. So, yeah, this has just been a good a good start to a good pulls. Um, I mean, we're not even close to halfway in, so... Love these lands. Got a foil art Joel Rail. Um, I, I think she'd be good if you're putting making your your cat dog deck. Cat dog, cat dog. Um, got a nine lives. Got a full art of Rada. A foil full art to be exact. Um, that's pretty epic. And then we got. Liliana's Devotee. Another. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's awesome because I had a person actually wanting one of these to trade me. So now I can trade and just be like, oh, well, no, I don't have to worry. So happy about that. And then. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it on going. Sorry about my table shaking. Let's see what else we pull. Down, land. I'm going to use that. That's going to go in that pile. Ugh. Okay, we got a a very. That's pretty art, though. I like that. That's some sexy art. A finishing blow. Never go wrong having some Palladium Mars. I love these arts. Okay, we got a foil or a foil. A um, full art Sabira. Um, we got Speaker of the Heavens. Here, you just kind of see a little better view of that. Yeah, I'm not doing too well with the camera today. I need to work on that. Got a Elder Goggle Balls. It's like, it's not bad. Um, uh, three. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to buy another one of these. I, I traded it because, um, there's a guy I play Magic with, um, uh, in our group. Um, or was that the place I do my drafts at? And he wanted this really bad because he's trying to, he just got back into magic and he's really wanting to make a, uh, well, slap my ass, call me a cowboy. Holy mother. That's, that's pretty good. Not a big fan of Bastery, but I will take that. But yeah, so just traded it to him, just being nice. And I was, I'm really glad I got that. Okay. Got a Bastery Solidarity. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then we got, um, a foil full art scavenging use so you can't beat that that's that's a uh, it's pretty epic that's um it's a pretty cool art when you look at it that's pretty cool take it out the way Shrine, Mountain, got a Full Art Storming Entity, 
Baron, okay, not bad. We got a I Love Endurance. Um, I actually haven't seen this card yet. So I'm going to take a second to read it. When Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield, um, exile all creatures, cards, when it comes to your list from your graveyard until it leaves the battlefield. Until the end turn, you may cast creature spells. For, oh, what? That's kind of cool. So, and the fact that you can. That's, that's pretty cool. Got another full art containment priest. <laughs> well, I got um, duplicate Garg's go uh, gore horns. Okay, let's keep on popping these open. So yeah, this, so far this has been like a really good opening. Um, we're through one, almost through one box. Got a couple more packs. Put this back over. Took it right there. Which is called Runa. Should put that in my fiance's Alayla deck. Gore Mind. I believe this is where the fun begins. Nice. So we got a hooded blight fang, so that's kind of cool. So that's that's an interesting card. Um, got a uh, spider, and then well, I guess we got a another hooded blight fang. Only that one's foil. Got another Bastry Solidarity. Got that. Got another Liliana Standard Bearer. I won't complain. And then we got another Cunt Tamed Priest. So I'm going to have a couple of those in my trade binder, I guess. Which I'm trying. I started. I used to hoard a lot of cards because I just like. I don't know. I was like, oh, I'm going to have a full play set of everything. But as I'm starting to get more and more cards, I'm realizing, yeah, it's nice and all, but there's certain cards that, like. I know I'm I'm just outright never gonna play so just, so maybe like if I'm gonna still play it just kind of keep them in a trade binder or something like if it's something I know I'm not gonna play God I just I love these arts I mean I'm I'm a sucker for different style lands nice we got animal sanctuary so that's interesting. Run a we've bought a zoo do uh, fuck I can't talk. Run a we've bought a zoo deck that'd be kind of funny. Okay, that's kind of cool. Got Garrick's Harbinger. Okay. Got a Chandra's Muff Diver. And got another Bastry Ket. <clears throat> I gotta fix something real quick because apparently I'm an idiot. Okay. Then the last card was the Solidarity. All right, first box almost down. Trying to get to the good stuff. Okay, got the Indulging Patrician. Um, I think I'm I'm trying to figure out if I want to put that in my um vampire deck or not. I'm still on the ropes about it. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I got a consp conspicuous snoop. Eventually, gonna make a vampire deck. Got another discontinuity. Oh, nice. Full art heroic intervention. So, that's um that's nice because that card was up to $20. And it's just, it's so nice. It's just, oh, you know, gonna give everything I control hexproof and indestructible. So, it's really good. Really solid card. There's two to lead. Got the incinerator. Oh, got a foil cultivate. Nice. And got a the fairy's ageless inshot. So that's pretty cute. It's key. So I, I think that I just really, 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 really love opening up these collector's boosters. Like, I, like they're just my favorite thing to do. Just open up these. I've almost considered just investing in these so, so, solely instead of going and buying a couple regular booster boxes. But I don't know. I like the booster boxes. They're pretty nice. Got another one of those. So it's good. 
Got this transmography full art. Got Kervec. Um, seems to be all right. And got the Sublime Epiphany full art. That's good. Teferi's protege. Did I do something? Yeah, no, we're good. I got another non foil full art scavenging ooze. That's kind of cute. And we got. Oh. Okay, so we got last two were to first tutelage and Liliana Stewart. Okay. Oh, Atlanta. Such good cards in this that we pulled so far. I just can't beat it. We got the Hydra. Okay, let's start the fun. We got the Full Art Temple of Triumph. Got a regular Massacre Worm. Got a Foil Bane Slayer Angel. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. The Bane Slayer Angel is pretty good. Um, nice card. Especially depending on like if you're building the Flavor Soup deck or whatever it is with uh, the one commander from Akoria's Kajigger. Uh, nice. Now we've got two Shandries. Got the Pyreling. And then we got the Protege. Nice. That's a that's a hot to trot card around the twat. You know, just getting a fable passage, uh, especially full art. You can't beat that. Um, got a bass really tenant. Fucking finally, you dirty little bastard. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't gonna get a veto of the dust and I really needed this. So you know, wham bam right in the clam, you get what you want. That's love it. Just nice because like if you have an exquisite blood sang with bond combo, it's just it's nice because it's. Whenever you you lose life, target opponent, or whenever you gain life, whenever target, yeah, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. You pay five and target creatures you control gain life link until the end of the turn. So that's just oh hey guess what bam life link swing big and just take everyone down, or not everyone but one person. Super super nice. That's going to the side over here. I need that in the deck. Okay, got Bastry's Lieutenant. And then we got this Bastard's Acolyte. And then we got a Garrick's Harbinger. Move this real quick. Okay, yeah, that's just a... I'm going to play a Garrick deck type of card. Time for the fun. Boop. Got a Felon Sovereign Full Art. Got a Heroic Intervention. Yas. Got a regular Liliana Standard Barra. Nice. Bastry Solidarity. Got this Garrick Scorehorn. I'm just gonna. Uh, Solom Similac from the nipples. Oh, I, I was hoping I would get one of these too. It's just it's really beautiful. Nice card. Just all around, the art's just crisp. It's just, it's so good. It's so, it's so good looking. Um, I wish I still had them out. I had um, the different variants of the arts, but it's so good. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll put it in the binder for now. That's eh, dual, dual Garrick's Uprisings. It happens more often than not in these things. It's not all the time, but we just have it occasionally. <clears throat> By occasionally, I mean it happens a lot. Can't complain though. Can't complain. Don't need to. Island. Volcanic Sava Full Art. Oh my god. Azusa the Lost but Seeking My Nuggets. Um, I'm just so happy that's a full art ever. It's really good too. She's pretty, still pretty saucy and expensive. Oh look, I got another cons conspicuous snoop. Yeah, you know he's um 
he's into some uh some cucking right there hey but you can't judge you can't judge him everyone's got their fetishes another massacre worm that's pretty good it's pretty good okay and let's get to the next pack Token. So many. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to build a deck ever again with regular lands because I've just got so many foil lands. But might as well just bling it out with foils. And regular Call Type 8. Never go wrong with that. Nash Swampy. I love these Swampies. Bloop. Ghostly. I almost said Ghostly Pacifier. <laughs> We're getting some weird territory with that one. Right, ghostly pilfer that's not bad nice necrophilia i can never go wrong with that as long as it's still warm you know at least that's what my never mind daddy used to say that all the time but um oh and another fable passage just i'm, I'm so happy i'm getting these because a fable passage just makes a deck pretty good just a simple fact you don't have to put in a uh um evolving wilds or a uh yeah whatever that other card is it's just escaping my mind right now Nice, got, got a regular, well not regular, but the different art, Chandra Heart of Flame. So that's that's pretty epic. Can't beat that. Oh, and another cunt detainment priest. Jesus in heaven. She's just, she's playing with the orbs and she's going for it. Yeah, so I guess I'll have a few of those in the trade binder. pretty bad the only thing I'm rather I'm like oh hey I got the card I'm excited for that's it so it's just no but this overall this has been a fun experience opening this got another full art Rata heart of the Keld she's really good um I put her in my legendary deck got a temple of epiphany we got the foil full art pack reader at Ku. Uh, Garrett's Gorhorn. Another Cultivate. I'm just, I, no, I'm, I'm cool with that. Just, just rocking them out. Oh, mothery, butterly, ne necrophilia nipples. Oh, my Lord. That's just nice. Look at that. Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Your plus one is uh, each player discards a card. Each opponent who can't loses three life. Uh, her minus three is... A target creature gets uh, minus X minus X until the end of the turn. Where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. And then our other one is you get an emblem at the beginning of, uh, of combat on your turn. Put target creature card from a graveyard on the battlefield under your control. It gains haste. So that's just, that's nuts in itself. That's super good. Like, you just can't beat it. Or in, you know, Lily on this case, if you can't beat it, turn in undead. And then can't argue with her logic. <laughs> primal Might, full art. Nice, not so bad. Oh, and then there, another Primal Might. Then we got another Azusa. It's pretty good, pretty good. Got the Bastard Solidarity. Got a Bastard Alkalite. Got another full art scavenging booze. <laughs> full art cult I've ate. And then we got the Bassery Solidarity again. This has been pretty interesting. I'll just I'll just say that it's been interesting for to say the least. It's been, it's been nice. No, oh, did it dum dum there we go. Fixed it. That other mountain got a full art thieves guild enforcer, or as I like to call the quest guild enforcer. Got a another glorious anthem. Got a full art Nyambi. Put Garrick Scorhorn up there. Got a Lillian Seward. Not really care about that. Oh, another standard burr. Protege Chandra's incinerator, and uh, yeah, the other token that I forgot.
I'm just getting excited. Just this is giving me chills. It's been a good, it's been a good pull thing. It's been such a good pull. Now I got the token out of there. Get your butt over there. Got a full art and nine loys. Got a transmography. Got a pain slayer angel. Got Chandra's pie reeling. Where did you hit? Oh, mother of crumb boners. Oh, I think I just got wet. Um, got a full art Ugin the Spear of Dragon. That's that's just you can't beat that. Um, Teferi's Tear Chair Rage. I think the only thing that would make this better, if, you know, I, I have two of the uh, um, Grim Tutors, but just pulling another one would just make this like, oh, like cream of the crop. But like, I'm not counting on it. Just, I mean, I pulled some good shit out of all this, so. But it would be, be pretty funny. Full art, heroic intervention. Got the feline sovereign. Oh, I'm about to take you to a kiss from a rose on a grave. Oh, well, I mean, I got to decide which one of these I want in the book. I'll probably put this in the book. Uh, and another Teferi's Aegis in Shred. Well, and down to the last a pack. Okay, so this is overall good pulls. Would have uh, would have thought it was great to get another um, Grim Tootie, but you know, it's fine. I, mean, I got two. I can't really complain. I got some really epic cards in this whole entire thing. I got two vetoes. You know, just overall, just damn good pulls. Rhyme Paper Knee. Amaze my team. Oh, Foil Full Art Temple of a Paper Knee. Teferi's Tutelage. Got Lilia Seward. For the love of containment, Priest, what is going on here? And then, you know, last card was the uh, Liliana Steward, but, you know. Yeah, that was that was some good stuff. I mean, you can't beat it. It's just just overall good pulls. But um, guys, um, do me a favor. Um, go on and like, share, and subscribe if you would. Um, I'm going to be doing once I get up to uh, I think I'm gonna try and do it to 50. I'm gonna be doing this is a uh, raffle off. Once I get to 50, um, doing this mystery booster convention edition just to uh, um raffle off to someone. I'll figure out how I'm going to do the raffle, but I'm only going to do it once I get up to 50 subscribers. But um, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, as always, keep it going and keep cracking. Just as a quick thing, too, just because I noticed it and I just wanted to share. Um, yeah, this is almost full. Um, two more packs, so it'll probably be once we open up the, um, the uh, Double Master set. I'm going to open this entire thing. It's got, um, it's got two of the... Um, collectors of the um, Core 21 got two regular 21s, got two of the uh, um, Acoria. I didn't get the collectors Acoria in here. I wish I would have. I got Ravnica, a bunch of Ravnica. I got I got some Theros stuff. Got cons. Got two mystery boosters. Um, got. Theros, the original Theros got two uh, of a master set, or I think it's iconic. Yeah, I mean, this thing's stacked, so that's going to be coming soon. Um, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, how's it going?